The buzz surrounding Adrian Newey's potential move to Ferrari has been relentless ever since he announced his departure from Red Bull. Recent reports have added fuel to the fire, suggesting that a collaboration with Ferrari is not just a possibility, but a likely future scenario. The specifics of the contract, including its hefty price tag, have also been making headlines. Newey himself has expressed a desire to remain in Formula One, emphasizing that the brain, much like a muscle, needs constant exercise. So is Ferrari set to become the new home for the British engineering genius? And more importantly, how will this potential move reshape not just the Marinello squad, but the entire F1 grid? Adrian Newey has been a hot topic in recent months, primarily due to his decision to leave Red Bull and embark on a new chapter in his illustrious career. While many speculated that he might take a break, influenced by statements from his manager and close friend, Eddie Jordan, it appears that Newey is far from ready to step away from the sport. According to the latest reports, he has already inked a three-year deal with Ferrari. In these three years, the British mastermind is set to earn an astronomical sum, reportedly around $105 million. This figure underscores the unique value of his expertise, which is considered irreplaceable. Notably, this salary would exempt him from the budget cap, making him one of the top three highest paid individuals within the team. However, Nui has made it clear that his motivation is no longer about the money. Instead, he is driven by the challenge of proving that he still has what it takes to transform a contender into a champion. Ferrari has been on an upward trajectory in recent months, showing steady improvements in performance. This progress has sparked debates about whether they truly need Nui's expertise. However, the recent Canadian Grand Prix may have highlighted the potential benefits of having someone of Nui's caliber on board. If Ferrari can secure his services, his impact on the 2026 car might be limited, as he would only start working with the team at the beginning of 2025. By then, the development of the inaugural car under the new regulations would be well underway. The new era of Formula One is set to favor teams with strong engine-building capabilities, a domain where Ferrari and Mercedes excel. With the downforce of the cars set to be reduced by 35% and drag by 55%, Newey's primary field of aerodynamics will be crucial. It will be fascinating to see how he adapts to the new active aero systems, particularly with the removal of DRS, a tool that gave Red Bull a significant speed advantage in Baku. Whether this change will affect the Austrian team's dominance from 2026 onwards remains to be seen. What is becoming increasingly clear is that Adrian Newey has sensed a shift in the atmosphere at Red Bull, one that has gradually turned toxic. This environment, where innovation and improvement are stifled by unclear leadership and a rigid structure, might be a significant factor behind Newey's decision to leave. Although he publicly stated that he felt he had reached the pinnacle with Red Bull and had nothing more to achieve, the ongoing internal power struggles within the team seem too coincidental to ignore. According to the latest report from Business F1, Eddie Jordan, Newey's manager and close friend, is also set to benefit significantly from this alleged contract. If the reports are accurate, Jordan stands to earn a substantial $5 million for managing Newey's interests. Over the past few months, Jordan has played a crucial role in communicating Newey's career moves. Even though he initially suggested that Newey might retire rather than join another team due to exhaustion. This prediction has proven to be far from the truth, but the drama doesn't end there. Business F1 has delved deeper into Newey's contractual situation with Red Bull, revealing some surprising details. Newey's contract was not with the Red Bull Technology Group, the entity that owns the racing team, but directly with the Mateschitz family. This means Newey had a direct contract with Mark Mateschitz, the son of the late Dietrich Mateschitz. This unusual arrangement adds another layer of complexity to Newey's departure, suggesting he might have been seeking a more stable and less administratively convoluted environment. Despite spending 18 years with the Milton Keynes squad, Newey seems ready to embrace a new challenge. Ferrari is poised to capitalize on this situation, eager to sign the 65-year-old who is determined to prove he can still build championship-winning cars. His knowledge will be crucial as the sport heads into the 2026 regulations, even though the focus on aerodynamics will be somewhat reduced. Pierre Wacho, the current technical director of Red Bull, 
has downplayed the impact of Nui's departure, stating that the technical team remains focused on the car's performance for the current and next year's development. With three cars to work on and significant changes coming in 2026, Wacha believes the team is well prepared. However, Ferrari might face some disappointment knowing that Nui's attitude towards the 2026 regulations is not entirely positive, which could affect his enthusiasm for designing a challenger under these new rules. When discussing the current state of Formula One regulations, Adrian Newey remarked that while the rules might initially seem peculiar, it's far too early to dismiss them as ineffective. As a designer, the first glance at new regulations often sparks opinions on their potential, but ultimately, the challenge lies in adapting and excelling within those constraints. The upcoming formula will indeed be unusual, with engines operating at full capacity as generators for most of the time. This shift will require some adjustment, especially considering the engines will be working hard in the middle of low-speed corners. However, if there's anyone on the grid capable of mastering these new regulations, it's Adrian Newey. Lewis Hamilton has consistently expressed optimism about Newey's potential move to Ferrari, and even Ferrari's team principal, Frederick Vasseur, couldn't hide his excitement when fans inquired about the contract's status. The latest hint towards this move came when Newey was seen signing a Ferrari flag during the Monaco Grand Prix, indicating his growing interest in joining the Marinello team over other contenders like Mercedes, Aston Martin, and Williams. Reports suggest that the $105 million contract could be with any team, but Ferrari seems the most likely destination given Newey's current preference. While Williams's team principal, James Vowles, hinted at big names joining his team, including potentially Newey, the outdated facilities at Williams might be a significant drawback. As for Mercedes, the prospect of Newey and James Allison, two of the sport's greatest technical minds, working together seems unlikely. All of this underscores that Adrian Newey remains one of the most valued engineering minds in Formula One. His departure from Red Bull is a significant blow to the team, especially as Ferrari and McLaren have been closing the performance gap in recent races. Red Bull insists that this catch-up is a natural progression after three years under the new regulations, unrelated to Newey's departure. With all this in mind, do you think Newey has already signed with Ferrari? If not, which team do you believe is ready to invest $105 million in his expertise over a three-year period? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting F1 updates and insights.